Carol's asking about the difference between G dominant seven and G major seven. So uh, basically, just to be clear, uh, a dominant chord, Carol, is the G seven part. And they're actually only one note different than one another. So it's a four note chord, G major seven specifically, having the notes G, B, D, and F sharp in it. Okay. So that's the sound of a major seven. Think sunshine and dreams, very happy and pleasant. All I have to do is change one of the four notes in this chord, uh, and it'll be the seven, which is the D string fourth fret note. I'm gonna lower that one fret to become a third fret note. Okay, one note different of the four notes in the chord, only one has changed. It sounds like this now. Listen to this note in particular. Okay, major seven. Let me play it a little bit differently for context. Happy, sunshine, pleasant. Here's dominant seven. I sometimes call mixolydian and dominant chords. They're, uh, I call them like major scales that wear denim and have been in a couple bar fights. Like they're, they're still like upbeat enough, but like they're a little bit rough little bit more raw sounding than major seven, which is like young and idealistic and optimistic about the world still. No, no bar, no bar fights yet. <laughs> 